If you would like to understand what happens when you abandon moral values in your life and the consequences, listen to this entire video. Alright, so I would like to discuss what happens in your mind, in your behaviour and in society if moral values in the individual citizens are dismissed with or they are abandoned and I will refer to the example of the decay of the popularity of Christianity in Europe, specifically Europe, and what that sort of towards, I'd say, in the 18th century and the consequences that followed up in the 19th century. So, Nietzsche, Friedrich Nietzsche said um, a quote along the lines of, you have killed God, God is dead. And I think he wrote that in towards the end or middle towards the end of the uh, 18th century. And what he was referring to was the, the decay of the belief, the faith in Christianity or in God of the European people. So Euro uh, Christianity had lost its popularity because science had gained, gained momentum and um, became significant and was valued. And of course, it's difficult to to measure God or religion or spirituality with traditional scientific techniques. So the, the, the emphasis on science, which was not able to measure religion, led to the, de, the, the, the degeneration of religion because it was dismissed with as just purely dogmatic or too wishy-washy. And Nietzsche predicted what would occur as the outcome of that, and he predicted that people would have a void within them because they would have no more moral values which the church originally delivered to them. They wouldn't have these moral values, so there was a space. And that space would be open up to any ideology or any belief system that could, that could supply these values again, and they would fall victim to any pathological ideology because they just had this void inside of them, the individuals, that could, that would let them easily be convinced or fall victim to these, the persuasion of these ideologies. And that's precisely what happened in Nazi Germany with um, the Nazi regime and the Nazi, uh, ta Nazi take on fascism. But the Nazis delivered a belief system an ideology which filled the void and the, the urge for human um, meaning in life, let's say, or a, me or a belief system. And the same happened in, um, in the Soviet Union where they had um, this void and then communism delivered the, uh, the belief system which they were, uh, which the human desires to have. And of course, the consequences of these two belief systems were pure atrocities, to say the least. Um, and that's what happens if you don't have a moral belief system in you. You, you fall victim to ideologies because you stand for nothing, hence you can fall for anything, and you... you don't know how to conduct yourself morally anymore in the world because you have no, no, no set of principles to follow. And Carl Jung described this nicely as what happened when the Christianity lost its, its, its importance. He said, The power of the church vanished, a fortress robbed of its bastions and casemates, a house whose walls have been plucked away, exposed to the winds of the world and to all dangers. And I think that's a metaphor for what happened within the individual. The individual was left bare to the to the, the challenges, the obstacles, the harshness of life without the faith anymore in the good. Mm. And what also I find very interesting is in the book um, Archetypes in the Collective Unconscious, Carl Jung also says something interesting. He says dogma of the church was actually the method to prevent individuals from manifesting their shadow behavior, their evil behavior, because they just the dogma, I mean, dogma is like rules uh, that the church would teach, but without any, any 
um, reasoning or, or, or any scientific reasoning of why to follow it. It's just like a rule and you should follow it without any like proof, you know. And the dogma was set upon people to prevent them from manifesting their, their destructive behavior. And now that the church was gone, the dogma was gone. So there was nothing preventing people, let's say, from, from manifesting that behavior anymore. And that's what maybe is occurring nowadays also, that the absence of moral leadership has led to people um, deteriorate, deteriorate in the moral uh, in their moral compass they, they 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 struggle to tap into their moral compass maybe because they don't have they're not guided to nobody teaches it let's say and that can lead to destructive behavior and damaging behavior to oneself and maybe the people around you i'm not saying that dogma is good but the consequence of the dogma having dissolved maybe is what's maybe some destructive behavior but i'm not saying that the dogma was good in the first place, but it's just an observation of what has happened. There are probably pros and cons to it also, but that's something that Carl Jung discusses, which is quite interesting. So that's what happens if you abandon moral values on a macro level. I mean, each individual will have to abandon the values, but then the societal outcome is uh, essentially what could represent them as the atrocities of the 20th century. So thanks for listening. That was it.